Good morning from me and my Dyson air wrap hair. I'm not ready to show you. I'm not ready to show you. I actually did it like really properly yesterday. I didn't wake up like this, no way. I just had to zhuzh it now. And by zhuzh it, I mean like do the ends again. It took like 20 minutes. Call me crazy. Next time I get my hair colored, I'm gonna ask my um, April at Somewhere Salon to maybe just dry out my hair a little bit. Bear with me. My hair is so healthy and retains moisture and all that kind of stuff. I don't need it to be as healthy as it is and it works against me when I style it, like it will drop out quite quickly because it's heavy, there's a lot of hair. And I remember when I had my hair coloured uh, before, it would hold a style for like three days. And anyway, I'm feeling like I'm a little bit dark now. So long story short, I want to damage my hair. Really exciting vlog for you today. I uh, have another naked haul for you, a bit more spring inspired really lovely summer dresses, a few like basic tees, this incredible brown shirt. So I will be showing you that later and trying that on for you. And also we've got a box of empties that I've been filling for literally the past six months. And every single time that I have finished a product and really enjoyed it, I've put it in there to tell you about it because as an influencer, I get sent so much stuff. I will be taking through that box later. Really exciting, very long intro, but that is an overview of the vlog. What did you say? My brows look good. Thanks. I used the Just For Men beard dye two days ago and it only wear it for five minutes, my goodness. But yeah, it's pretty good. I use the shade medium brown, recommend. Tempted to do my lashes next time. This is actually brand new, so I've got no idea how this is gonna go. So actually this isn't a recommendation yet, but it's the Vita Liberata Medium Beauty Blur Face. I think a lot of people are into this sort of skin, as am I. It says um, it's a complexion perfecter which covers imperfections, actually disagree on that, and gives a radiant glow. It has tinted my skin to match my tan. I'm wearing the saint Extra Dark. This is called medium, but this I would wear when I'm quite tanned. I think I'll be reaching a lot for this in summer though. I like it, and I actually don't mind about covered imperfections. I really enjoy seeing skin. I'm actually gonna do, and I feel like I've threatened this before, a really close makeup tutorial soon on like my go-to face. Um, this is a little under eye corrector from Charlotte Tilbury, which is great in the color medium. I really do need something very peachy as my under eyes are very dark all the time. Rodial Banana Low Lighter. Doing my brows with the Beauty Pie Super, Super Brow Precision Pencil in hot coffee and because I dyed them the other day I'm just gonna fill in any gaps. I really want to laminate them soon. I laminate them from home but I went to go and get them shaped and the lady said that my brows are really overprocessed and I should not laminate for three months at least. So I don't know. If you have any incredible brow gels that really mimic lamination, feel free to let me know below. Just a bit of brow gel and not even shadow, like bronzer in my crease. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes for my mascara. Then this is the Iconic Lip Gloss in Luster Lip Oil Out of Office. And this is from Beauty Pie, it's my current setting spray. It's actually hyaluronic acid. So welcome to the haul section of the vlog. Um, housekeeping first, I do have a discount code as per usual. I'll leave it on screen for you here. Pretty sure it's Molly C20 and it gets you 20% off, but the code will definitely be here and in the description box. In the description box as well will be links to all of the items and the size, but I pretty much always wear the largest sizes with Naked, which is an XXL and or an EU46. Also, shipping is worldwide and climate compensated. I'm gonna start with my favorite item first. I think I should probably do that with all hauls. It would be this one. Do you know what? There's a lot of really good stuff in this haul in particular, but this one, like, if you followed me for a while, you'll know that I love puff sleeve, the kind of sweetheart or square neck lines, which are just so flattering on bigger boobs and curves, like, it's just such a great shape for curves. It's a kind of lime green daisy floral print, 
but very like a very muted lime green really beautiful very fresh and this with converse or any kind of white chunky trainer or sandals like it just will be so versatile for spring and summer you can wear a jacket over it you could do like a leather jacket over this with converse just to make it a little bit more of like city because it is quite prairie girl you know but i love that style so much so this is my favorite one fits perfectly looks really lovely and i know that everyone who like watches my hauls loves this kind of style as well we did the wedding guest dress haul recently and i think i kind of know like the shapes that people go for and sold out quite a few in styles very similar to this then sticking with floral kind of spring summer dresses this is one for tall people it's really really long um you'll be able to see properly in the cutaway it's this yellow floral wrap dress really comfortable again very pretty similar to the one before but just a different shape and i know how many people love wrap just because it makes the item a bit more customizable for everyone's own shape i i remember like my first wrap item i ever owned it was this turquoise top and i was about nine and i was obsessed with the style and i still really am i love it it's very flattering um but yeah it's very 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 long this one and when i say really long i think my opinion would be five nine or above to wear that one otherwise it'll be dragging on the floor or if you're shorter than that and you really like it you could wear it with like a pair of espadrilles just as long as you have a little bit high off the ground then it won't drag another dress for you i'm such a neutral person in the winter but as it starts to get um a bit hotter like it has been in the uk now a little bit warmer i do love pastels and this color oh my goodness i really don't go for blue that much like i do love like a yellow or an orange or a more warm color but i think this is called cornflower blue and it's so pretty i love it with the color of my hair and fake tan obviously i wore this with some white trainers in the cutaway and i really liked the wrap style with the trainers actually very comfortable very flattering does cut quite high like there's quite a slit in it just so you know stretchy material very comfortable and just thought that's another thing that you could wear like converse with it or trainers for barbecue or like pub drinks or something like that but you could easily dress this up with nude sandals and make it just dressed up a little bit more elevated but look at the color so nice right we've had enough color we really have this is white black brown neutrals my favorite i will show you this one first so i just wanted a black long dress this actually has another it's kind of lined here at the boob bit i wore my wonder bra straps bra with it which is amazing this is very long very stretchy very thick material as well really thick almost like not like scuba this is soft and it feels like a cotton very long stretchy and I just wanted something that I could wear with like trainers and a leather jacket or something that was just really plain, but also kind of spring summer inspired with the strappy straps, strappy straps, straps. So this one's good too. I mean, it's all good. Like, and it just looked so lovely when I tried it on as well. Keeping with the black dress theme i chose a strapless one i see jada wear loads of this kind of style and i was like oh i wonder if i can pull that off as well because i think typically finding strapless is really hard for curve this has like one of those gummy kind of interior bits there which means it doesn't slide down and it genuinely doesn't again i wore this with my wonder bar strapless and i just wanted something that was just so plain simple could style in so many ways probably with like a white linen oversized shirt and some like chunky leather black sandals that are very in right now that would be a great really easy weekend summer look in my opinion um so again just very comfortable the x sorry this is eu46 fits me so well and also that's my favorite way to actually shop on naked is to order by size first and then go through the items like that way i did say that green dress was my favorite but i actually really loved this brown shirt i wouldn't really usually go for a brown shirt like because i think i i go for white shirts a lot of the time but i saw this and i loved the oversized shape and once i put it on and actually tucked it into jeans i just thought it it hangs so well and it looks way more expensive than it is it's a very it's a slightly cool toned brown actually it's coming up slightly warmer on camera but honestly just the way it fits on my body and looks like relaxed is so lovely i paired it with blue jeans in the cutaway but actually i would love this 
with either a black or a brown belt to be honest and like an ecru jean an ecru mum jean i think would look so nice such a great weekend look and yeah i guess it just it's probably me coming away from my purely black and white palette a lot of the time during winter i do wear so much black and this is slightly more springish and lighter it's also very soft the way the light hits the fabric is just like there's so much dimension in the fabric it looks really nice a great office piece as well how would you style it hmm what, the, what are those ones like always wear what are they called wide leg trousers having those but a color that would go with this so like a yeah like a stone or a cream i think that would look really really cool with some loafers um but yeah i've spoken enough about this one really like it might be my favorite it's kind of tied with the green dress and then my last two i love a basic you know i live in basics i have quite a few of these and when i wake up in the morning i just really throw these on with a pair of jeans i'm actually wearing some naked jeans at the moment uh, i always talk about these ones these were in a past haul but e46 jeans their jeans are so comfortable they really just feel like wearing joggers i have you know i have like a very low tolerance for being uncomfortable these are so comfy i'm so happy to work from home in jeans when they're the naked jeans eu46 anyway the t-shirts they're great you can see them in the cutaways again but they just fit so well they've got like a dropped shoulder with a slightly longer sleeve which i prefer and i just like that slightly oversized t-shirt because my bottom half is bigger so i have bigger thighs and hips and then i've got a smaller waist and bust up top so having something that's slightly oversized on top just kind of balances me out i find which is why i will usually go for an oversized top and a tighter bottom a couple more items actually shoes and um, i do reference naked accessories quite a lot they are just so on trend they are affordable I said at the beginning it's climate compensated shipping and obviously I have my discount code I'll flash up again now for you I wanted something that I could wear in the day in the night like I know I always talk about this but having something versatile I really don't like having a big wardrobe so being able to have items that can tick lots of boxes are my favorite type of items to own so this is the heel block heel wide fairly low gives me a bit of height so it's like I'm wearing heels but not in a way that like interrupts my day in any way because I really can't like keep all 16 stone of me on heels for like a whole day walking around London I think 16 I don't know but um I wanted these and I thought they were great for summer and they're kind of like a mule style which is very in right now a really lovely color i was just like i can see myself wearing these all the time in summer so i'll link these below as well and these kind of velcro sliders black sliders you know i was talking about which dress was i talking about with the i was talking about the black dress with wearing something like this with like an oversized linen shirt i just want something to be comfy but i feel like these are stylish at the same time they are a little bit thick so give me a little bit of height but not so much and i just thought some black flats and some nude mid heels are two great staples for spring so that's my little haul section of the vlog i hope you enjoyed that links sizes below and my code my code will be live for a week from when this video goes live so make sure you're watching this video and using the code within that week i would really take a browse on naked if i were you i feel like they really nail styles and trends but they do it in such like an approachable neutral kind of way like i'm not intimidated by it because like i'm not the trendiest person but i feel like i can dip my toe into um styles that are just very now very current how old am i sounding right now but i think they do that really well so definitely check them out if you're new to naked and maybe do a little order for your spring wardrobe and hope you enjoyed that not me back on my chair again it's 10 to 11 so i feel like i could probably start prepping lunch in an hour back on the salad hype i'm just actually i've got some like to do bits that i think i'm going to sort out on my to-do list if you don't use notion you really really must it's like an online workspace tool it's free uh initially it's just great for organizing your life like it is i said it's the the biggest thing to happen to me in like 
tech wise since getting whatsapp it's like that next level up so i've got a blinkist that i'm going to listen to another great tool i'm gonna listen to the e-myth revisited by michael gerber it was recommended i think by ali abdul in one of his videos ali abdul i love blinkist i love um so i'm just gonna geek out to some i think it's like a marketing like an e-marketing kind of book i love learning about the industry from like a wider contextual point of view and just educate, educating myself a little bit more and then i've got some other things i've got to cancel a microsoft subscription reasons why i don't vlog because this is my life um creating a few documents and i've got some really big exciting changes that once they are finalized i will announce they're not they're major to me i don't know why anybody else would care but just like growing the business and that's my life that's my life. How gorgeous and fresh does that look? I'm now going to try and find a dressing on TikTok and recreate it. I've got avocado, chickpeas, cucumber, spring onions, tomato, and then this is the vegan chicken down here. So delicious. Quarter cup extra virgin olive oil, quarter cup tahini, two teaspoons of Dijon, three tablespoons of lemon juice. I don't have maple syrup, so I'm gonna go for two teaspoons. Oh, it says all honey. One, two. Half a teaspoon of salt, freshly ground black pepper, and two tablespoons of ice cold water. I am so excited. <laughs> Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at how gorge. It's all homemade and creamy and vegan. Just had a spoonful. I couldn't not. Absolutely delightful. This is her. Oh my God. It's just so tasty. Oh, having a bit of a moment. I just there's just like lots of like worky bits going on and um i just suddenly got emotional like writing to ltk who i work with on like, affiliate commissions and stuff if, if you have a following you don't work with ltk they have changed my life and i just wanted to acknowledge that in an email to them and just say thank you but god it's starting to get a bit emotional Whew, i just work with so many great people and i'm so lucky too feels like an acceptance speech but I feel like people really need to know when they do a good job and there are some people in my work life who just consistently do an incredible job and make my life in amazing because of the work that they do <laughs> God, um, I'm a very emotional person by the way I don't know if I have cried on YouTube I probably have cried on YouTube before but um, I cry every single day really important for me as um, I saw a TikTok the other day but it was like if you are the eldest, especially of girls, and if you're a Pisces, good luck. And I was like, oh my God, that really was for me. Um, anyway, I'm a very emotional person. Um, on to the part of the video that um, my boyfriend is most excited for because he can't wait to get this box out of our lives. Okay, I'm excited. So lucky dip number one. Ah, Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Phenomenal for getting makeup off, sun cream. I just love a clean face and this is delightful. Have it in the shower, take off the day, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna say that about every product, but this is the Cozy Cow Shed Comforting Bath and Body Oil. It's a little bit on the pricey side. I think it's like 20 pounds for a bottle and I go through it really quickly. I love an oil after bath or a shower and this reminds me of going to Soho Farmhouse, which we're actually going to in a week. Divine, divine. One of my top five body products and just so deliciously luxurious. This is the best shower gel I have ever used in my life. I am never impressed by shower gels. How can you be? They are so 
basic. This breaks the mold. It's the Neom Super Shower Power Body Cleanser with Spearmint, Rosemary and Eucalyptus. I love it. You have to get it. You have to enjoy it. It's so good. It's actually reminded me I'm going to get another one of these. It's so good. I will link all of these below, by the way. Another oil. This one's Walida, a brand I am mad about. Walida also do the skin food, the really thick moisturizer, which if you have dry skin is a must. But this refreshing body oil, this is citrus. I've had quite a few different um, scents. They are natural skincare. There's like no nasties, really pared back ingredients, um, but great at what they do. I love the packaging. I love Walida as a brand. Glass bottle, this is just lovely and it smells so wonderful. Not a body oil. <laughs> okay, this will be the last one I show, but I am mad about them. This is Tisserand Real Calm Massage and Body Oil. I think this is, um, oh, it's like a, almost like a pre-sleep one, lavender, bergamot and patchouli. Um, Tisserand is a lovely brand, very similar to Alida in their natural approach. This is a plastic bottle, though I will say. Wouldn't be an empties without Batiste. I worked with Batiste for a year, got to know them a lot better and it's always been in my life since I was like 15 years old and now I'm 30, so long time. This is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. I find it's best for giving me that lift and also obviously making my roots look less greasy. Flatness and greasiness is definitely something that I suffer with a lot. So um, having a dry shampoo to hand is something that I always have and Batiste is the one I always finish and get through. <coughs> Oh, and just in case you were doubting, here's a second bottle of the Neon Power Cleanser. This is Kerastase Blonde Absolue Sicker Flash. Beautiful packaging and a range built for blondes. I will say that my hair is very healthy, so I feel like I don't really need to spend a lot of money on oils and um, like expensive conditioners. Like even at the beginning of this vlog, I'm saying that I kind of almost want to make my hair a bit drier. However, if you're looking to look after your hair, and you're a blonde, Kerastase is a really great range to go for. So this is the Blonde Absolute Sicker Flash. Uh, more deliciousness from Neom is the Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. I actually finished this the other day. This is a brand new empty. Um, I like to spray it on the pillows, but also the headboard as well. And it just makes going to bed that little bit more luxurious and is a really lovely little gift if you're like going around to someone's for dinner or you're not sure what to buy somebody for like for their birthday. Um, this is only very small and Neom do very sweet little gifts like this, which are essentials, but like luxury essentials. Oh, great. I am gonna buy one of these again. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And this was the limited edition white tea of barley scent. Best setting spray I have ever tried hands down. It's not cheap, no Charlotte Tilbury product really is, but that's because it really works. And they also do like a smaller one like this um, if you just wanted to try it out. But this is the best setting mist and I feel like there is no point in spending loads of money on makeup if it's not actually going to stay. This, another product I was there for the launch of, Kate Somerville Eradicate Blemish Mark Fading Gel. I actually got to meet Kate Somerville on the call and asked her if I was able to use this with the cleanser. I'm still going through the cleanser right now but I got through this very quickly. It's just great for getting rid of those marks. You can also use it in tandem with um, retinol. So I would use the retinol in the evening and then use some of this in the morning and they didn't interfere with each other. Glass bottle, I cannot even begin to go into the amount of knowledge that they put into the Eradicate range. Um, they also, I remember, use like pine essential oils so it just smells so fresh. Yeah, this and the cleanser is just great for clearing up your skin. This is the best lip balm that you will ever try in your life. I found it because of Ashley Graham on, I think it was like a Vogue in her handbag kind of thing. It's the Nukes Reve de Miel lip balm. You get it from Look Fantastic. You get it in person at M&S, stock it as well in the beauty aisle. It's a glass bottle, ultra nourishing and repairing honey lip balm, but like the most intense one you've ever had before. It's also got a matte finish, so it's not glossy, it's not sticky, but it really is a proper lip treatment that actually works. I always put this in my top 10 beauty products of all time, and I always refer to this as the lip balm that took me 25, I think I said 25 or 27 years to find, because like lip balms never really cut it for me. This is a handbag essential. This is one of the best, no, this is the best lip balm product I have ever come across, period claim. Oh, this is an oldie, an oldie but a goodie. This is the, guess, is an oil. 
DHC deep cleansing oil. I loved the way this was marketed and packaged. I saw it on Look Fantastic. Do you know what? I'm gonna get another one of these. I love them so much. This, I just, there's something about the packaging in the way it just says deep cleansing oil and black and white. It does a great job of getting the makeup off and I always find the benefit of using an oil is that it really breaks down the makeup in a different way that like a foaming cleanser would. Foaming cleanser, you have to pull and tug at the skin a lot more. This melts, so I think it's actually a lot better for probably skincare and elasticity. This year, well in the past six months, I've been through Aveeno, Vichy, and L'Oreal. Um, loved the L'Oreal Metal Detox. I thought it was great for um, the packaging. It's just, I love it so much. I do love good packaging. Um, this was recommended on Look Fantastic as oil control. I can't say that it actually made a difference, but I do love the brand Vichy. And then Aveeno, this is the Fresh Greens blend. It, it was good. I I genuinely can't recommend any shampoo and conditioner that's changed my life. Like I'm, I've never met that shampoo or conditioner yet. My hair is healthy, well behaved, does what it's told, all that kind of stuff. So I just think I will always be quite skewed with my recommendations. Like these are all good, I finished them all, but I can't say that these would change your hair forever, just being honest. Okay, I'm gonna do two more, otherwise this is gonna to be too long. Neil's Yard, one of my favorite brands ever. I've never worked with them, I would love to. They are somebody who would be on my like brand ambassador list. Um, incredibly um, sustainable. This is glass packaging, for example. This is the lemon and coriander deodorant. I'm a really big fan of deodorants that don't use any um, aluminium in them. I never, apart from, maybe if I, I've got a really important day, like a meeting where I know I'm gonna be sweaty or something like that where I really can't sweat. Otherwise, I would rather go for something that just treats my body a little bit kinder. And I fully believe that if my body wants to get rid of sweat, I should let it. Um, but this is a lovely deodorant. It smells phenomenal. It doesn't last that long because I love it so much. But that is definitely on the repurchase list as well. I really also want to try Wild Deodorant. I've never worked with them, but I see a lot of influence ads and I think I'm starting to be influenced. So um, I would try those as well, but I know they've got a very uh, similar, sustainable and kind of more natural approach to deodorizing. And last but not least, a cult favorite, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm on my second pot of this. Um, I didn't know this actually, but this bit can pop out. And so the outer casing is reusable, which is great. I like it. I wouldn't say I'm like, oh my God, you need to get this. Cause it is quite spenny, um, but it does for me last a while. I'm wearing it today, obviously. I put it on uh, before makeup. If I need to go for a moisturizer that will help make my skin more luminous and keep my makeup to stay on this would be the one that i would go for it's really really good it just has a lot a lot of hype around it but i probably think that's more product marketing than actually people speaking about it this isn't an, a need but this is um a want i would say actually one more one more i am gonna do a shout out to frank body they are um a long term standing partner um, that's the one. This is the like jumbo, oh, it's the mega size original coffee scrub. So this was like their first product that they launched. I know the Kardashians use this. So it's like coffee that you use in ex as an exfoliator and as a complete tanning addict, something like this is really essential. It's also just lovely to use when I'm not tanning and I want to just feel like fully, fully cleansed and invigorated after a shower. Um, this took me such a long time to get through, as I'm sure you can imagine. It says, get naked, wet in the shower, massage scrub over your entire body, leave on for three minutes, which I didn't know and I haven't been doing, so that's important. Um, use me two to three times a week for best results. They're also um, just really lovely clients to work with separate to that. So that will be my last one. And there are a few others in there that did get emptied, but I don't think really made the video. I did check, but I hope you enjoyed that. I am completely out of breath and very excited by empties is something I learned about myself today, but I'm very excited to recycle all of that actually as well. Let's wrap up the vlog there, shall we? Otherwise it's gonna be way too long. Didn't realize how, I had like 18 minutes of talking to say about uh, some empty bottles so that's indicative of how much is going on in my life right now yeah things have changed thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and also like this video if you want to see more 
I will leave absolutely everything in the description box. My sizes from my Naked haul, um, and I will flash the discount code up again here for you. It will only last a week from this um, vlog going live, so make sure you use it, and also any of the beauty products mentioned as well of which you know I am very, very enthusiastic about. It's so lovely to look back and remember how much stuff is good because I think there's actually a load of rubbish stuff out there, so recommendations are great. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my little channel and um, see you soon. Bye.